Well, hello everybody, this is the first part of my series. Let's play Blue Islands, Lost on Astro. Well, the first reason I'm doing this overview and sharing my experience playing this game is because this sequel uh, will never be translated in English and those of you who doesn't know Russian language just has no opportunity to, to play it and understand all the meaning. So, a little bit of history. The first game, Evil Island's Curse of the Lost Soul, was released in the year 2001 and it was published by the Evil Interactive. Uh, hence, after this, there were many corresponding unofficial projects. Most of all, they concerned the multiplayer part of this game, but there was one big project by the Notilde Entertainment and you can see their logo on the lock screen. They eventually made the project so high quality, so huge that Nibel Interactive subscribed their release by their own label and this game actually gone out of the stock. I mean, they start selling it and it had a huge success in Russia. Uh, I've got my copy just the same day it was released. So, if this game is so cool and most of the people, fans of Evil Islands, did really want to play it but didn't have a chance to play it. I'm here to help, so I'm honored to present my experience of playing Evil Islands Lost in Astral. Let's start it. Choose the and the game difficulty. I will play uh, the heart one, and it's said hard. I think I'm tough enough to handle all these mobs. Uh, the last time I played Evil Islands. Lost in Astro was the year of 2005. That's why I just don't have me what I should expect next. Uh, we are going to explore it together. So let's start it. The Evil Islands Lost in Astro. Свобода. Freedom. Это слово звучит как прекрасная чарующая музыка. И именно это слово заполняет все мысли человека, заключенного в четырех стенах О свободе думал и молодой Джун, только что вырвавшийся из рабства, на которое он и его семья были обречены на долгие годы. Думал и клялся, клялся всем, чем только мог, вернуться, освободить, отомстить. Что же ожидает беглого раба в этом суровом, пусть и свободном мире? Удастся ли ему достигнуть заветной цели, сдержать свою клятву? Этот пьянящий запах свободы. Which has a nature pretty much like the autumn one season. And for those of you who already played the first part of this game, red skin should mean that he belongs to the race of June. And Junes have perished from the Elods forever because they were doomed by some evil curse and this curse was beaten at the first part of this game by the chosen one who had a name of Zack. As we can see he is called Kir or Kira Chitla further. This one I remember. So it means that he is one of uh, those few who left the many uh, still living here. We're gonna play for this uh, 
Redskin guy here. Понятно. Um, first mob is red. Or even mouse. It's written here. Это сумасшедший. I think I'll kill this mouse punching it in the head. One shot. Yeah, one hit and kill. Nice. Made a critical hit and it just died immediately. Не заблужу. So, Точно. a small overview for those of you who doesn't know the game system, what is this game about, and so on. Точно. It's an RPG, and you've got several types of Точно. moving. For example, Конечно. I'm just Точно. walking. I can run, but as you can see, my stamina is <coughs> going down when I run. Небольшая зарядка не повредит. Да. Crawl. And so on. And when I hit from the back, I make a critical hit. And when I hit into the uh, head, I double crit it. So I can hit in six uh, parts of a body. For <coughs> for those creatures, they have those parts of body. For example, if you meet the bat or a dragon, they have only two parts of body, and they do not have this critical hit uh, option. So let's start killing it, sneaking from the back and punching into the head. You can see the red indicator of head is gleaming right now. Сейчас. Yeah, it's six point from the behind and into the hmm. head. А что мы cool. тут имеем? When you hit someone and Точно. injure into the head, Не his actions are uh, slowed down. Уже he идут. moves uh, the same speed, but he cannot act the same uh, speed as before. Uh, he cannot cast as fast as he did. So it's really important when you are fighting simultaneously with several opponents to, uh, you know, make them unavailable to hit you as fast as they usually do. And if you have uh, something like a range weapon or magic to cast, you can hit your opponent in the leg and he actually moves really slow after this. Uh, there are several degrees how hard you injured him. But we'll see it later. Now we just move here and talk to this guy. Как this point of the game I still Какая удача! Может, yeah, этот человек сможет мне помочь? Maybe this Парень, где ты шлялся, чтобы тебя панцерники загрызли? Guy, Сидеть в этой глухомане на сухое горло скучно, знаешь ли? Really а у меня ни капли или не осталось. Он принял меня за другого. Oh, Главное, чтобы он не догадался, one. кто я на самом деле. So ну, я немного заблудился. Him, Парень, не тупи! Тебе неслыханно повезло. Guy, не придется really сидеть и ждать работенку. У меня один клиент here. срочно Wait ребят набирает. Job. Туда тебя и определим. Согласен. Uh, да уж сделай одолжение. Можно подумать, we'll у тебя большой выбор. Держи бумаги и иди по дороге. Um, С ними тебя охранники пропустят. Как придешь в лагерь, отдашь эти бумаги, тебе помогут пройти через портал. Отправишься на Сусланга. Да, климат там не позавидуешь. Да и солдат полно. Я справлюсь. При случае, well, я вас отблагодарю. Все вы так говорите. Может, подохнешь в первой же yeah. заварушке. <laughs> я и не такое battle. проходил. Но well, спасибо за предостережение. Я буду осторожен. Разблагодарился. Лучше скажи в лагере, чтобы мне пару бочонков Эля прислали. Не буду же пить в самом деле. 
Here we can see our task, the map of this location, the task that I've got right now, it's active, the sap tasks, and now the sap tasks tell me that I should walk across the river, and along the side uh, there's an ancient graveyard, we should be really careful. Okay, this is the first part. See you in the second part of this game.